Hi, fire sign. We're going to look at how your current person or your future person feels about you. So if your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign is in sign of Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, keep watching or maybe you're dealing with a fire sign and you want some tea. Um, I did post the earth signs um, and I believe the air signs. How did they feel about you? Um, days ago and only a couple of you guys have watched it and so please make sure that you have your notifications on because this is an exclusive just for the love tier and I really want you guys to be able to you know like tune in like show some love um, yeah this is an exclusive just for you guys um, just for the love tier so I hope that you enjoy please give this a, a thumbs up so I know that you watched um and yeah just post post notifications for patreon because i don't think that they actually let you guys know whenever i am um uploading and if you guys are interested in also getting the patreon app that would be also a great way for you to um keep in touch with me and your exclusive content so let's go ahead and first of all just see the overall energy of like who you are dealing with at this time this is a timeless love reading as well, so do keep that in mind. But let's see who is coming towards fire signs, please, Spirit. Who's coming towards fire sign or who's fire sign dealing with, please? Who is coming towards fire signs? Who is coming towards fire signs? Who's coming towards fire signs? I'm sorry if my energy is low today, you guys, but I just really wanted to film, like, the full moon has me so drained, I've just been feeling, like, sad, but I feel like talking to you guys always cheers me up in some aspects, so <laughs> that's why I came on here. <laughs> okay, who's coming towards fire signs? Who's coming towards fire signs? Okay, interesting, uh, so we got the four of pentacles, we got the six... We got the eight of pentacles right here. Let me pick this up. Okay, a lot of earth energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but not only just earth. Um, I'm just getting that you're dealing with someone very dedicated. They're likely established. I do feel as though they have a career going on. Their financial situation could be secure. Um, or this could also be that this person is very dedicated towards you. This person is open to hearing you out. They seem very committed. Okay, there's something here about compromise that I'm hearing hearing um so i feel so your person is going to be trying to communicating with you to trying to find some type of healthy medium healthy balance and some type of like medium like common ground with you i do feel so you're dealing with someone that's likely very patient um and um intentional okay this person could be a romantic okay i'm getting they may have like a serious job okay uh, they may also be dealing with like um, charity work, something where you have to negotiate. Uh, so they could be a salesperson, but I feel as though it's more like, um, like they're working more like more uh, like they're. I just feel so this person's very established. I feel so they they could be in law, um, but like whatever whatever it is that they are invested in right now, like um, with their career, it's something that requires likely a lot of studying. I feel like it requires a lot of their time and energy. For some, maybe they're currently in school and they're in like a uh, a serious program. Like I just feel as though this person um, has like serious things going on. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel as though they take like their job very lightly or their career very lightly or your connection very lightly. Um, you, you may also be dealing with a mature person. This person may be older than you or just their mindset is, is uh, you know, kind of like traditional. Um, I don't feel as though this person is like intense. I don't feel as though they're all over the place. They just seem very calm. Okay, very cool, calm, collected, just like an earth sign. Okay, but they don't have to be an earth sign. I have to make that clear. Let's go ahead and uh, see what else we got. I feel as though they're the patient one in the connection, to be honest. They're probably the ones that... Um, you know, relax you, get you to calm down. They're the ones that don't get fired up. They're not the ones turning up every Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday. Okay, let me see more for um, who is fire sign dealing with, please. Who's coming towards fire sign? Um, who's coming towards fire sign? I do see April could be um, a significant time for you guys, or even um, September. This could be when you've met. This could be this person's birthday. So keep those two months in mind. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just here on like law, like legal work, paperwork, paralegal. I don't know. Like this person could um, could be dealing with a, a type of job that requires a lot of like documentations, like background checks. Like I again, I feel as though this is um, a serious job that they are involved in. Okay, let me. See 
see um, uh, this person coming towards you, fire sign. Can I get just more, please, on um, fire sign's person, who they're dealing with? Uh, you could have been with involved with this person for um, a long time. I'm getting like three to four years minimum. Um, or this person has been studying for four to five years, or they've been at their job four to five years. There's something here that really feels like this person is stable, fire sign. That's really like the main thing that I'm picking up on. Let's see what else do we got for the fire signs, please. Who are they dealing with? Who's coming towards fire sign? Let me see more, please. Wow, the clouds are looking so, <laughs> like so random. Like this cloud I'm looking at right now literally looks like, um, a baby that you would see in like an ultrasound. <laughs> I don't know if some of you are pregnant or like trying to conceive, trying to get pregnant, but maybe that's an omen to you. That's very interesting. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles reverse. Again, a lot of earth energy. We got the Emperor card reverse. Um, I don't feel as though these cards are meant to be reversed, but it's okay. We also got the um, Eight of Wands. Okay, so. Uh, you could be dealing with an, Air, uh, with an Aries, but again, I'm just seeing so much earth energy. So you may be wondering if your person is committed to you because they are so focused on their career and finances. Uh, you may also be dealing with someone that doesn't show their emotions through like words of affirmations through like, you know, like I don't feel so you're dealing with maybe the most romantic person fire sign. I do feel so you could be dealing with someone that shows her love through actions. Like this is going to be someone that's like, well, I'm providing for you or I'm making time for you. Um, You know how I feel about you type of thing. So I don't know if you, uh, I don't know how you feel about that. But there's an element here of someone needing to assert themselves more. Um, Either like fight for your relationship, fight for the two of you somehow, something like that. Or uh, you may be feeling like your person needs to like have more passion, have more ambition when it comes to your relationship. Okay, let me see. Uh, we got the three of pentacles here and then we got the death card. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting something about like, I'm hearing the last call, um, but I don't feel so that pertains to like a bar or restaurant. I feel so this death card is about, um, you're trying to talk something out. You're trying to sort something out with your person, fire sign. Um, I feel as though some of you could be getting help from like a therapist, a counselor, something like that to save you from something. Some of you may be thinking about like terminating the marriage is what I'm hearing or like ending this long relationship or you are discussing what your next move is going to be. I do actually get some of you actually thinking about like moving as well. I feel so we're having a serious discussion with our partner about what is happening next for us because there is mention here of a big change happening. Now, either this change with the death card can mean the ending of the connection or, you know, ultimatum vibes or you're going to be making a decision as a couple, you know. Um, I hope that that makes sense, but it feels like we are really trying to discuss something. Some of you are going to be attending meetings. Again, something with a counselor as well could be involved, um, but that's just what I'm getting. Like just having to find a healthy medium. We got the cherry card. So we need to get our emotions in order right now. Emotions may be running high, but we need to make sure that we are remaining focused. Okay. Also, if some of you, um, if you already have like this partner, okay, this person that you're connecting with, if you already have a person in mind, some of you are um, saving up for like a house. Some of you are saving up for um, the future. You guys are planning towards a future. Just know that you'll be successful in that. So again, that's why the death card could be here because you guys are leveling up up to like a new phase in your connection but everything is changing essentially we got the chariot card we got the strength card yeah i do feel overall like if you having any issues something is bittersweet something is bittersweet but you are going to overcome it there's emphasis here on resilience okay some of you there's something happening during leo season so keep that in mind um or the leos watching this is specifically for you but there is something bittersweet happening here okay we got the ace of cups um and then the judgment card everything is unfolding exactly as it should whether it seems like a punishment for now or it doesn't seem really ideal fire sign like when it comes to your love life just know that um, everything is unfolding exactly as it should okay so again it's giving ultimatum vibes but overall it feels like for the majority of you watching you are going to be able to overcome any type of obstacles that you're feeling right now whether or not you're already on the same page as your partner or there's going to be some financial changes or some career changes or someone is moving or something like that. I do feel so you two are going to be able to 
come to whatever resolution that is um, in the best interest of both of you. So that's, um, again, a lot of like talking things out and being patient and being loving and um, being, uh, being open to compromise and, you know, letting go of our ego a little bit just to make sure things are working. Let's go ahead and see how your person is feeling. We have, I knew exactly what I was doing. So again, I do feel so you're, you're dealing with someone that is very intentional with their words, very intentional with their actions. So with the, I knew what I was doing card, I feel so if you're like overthinking, like how does my person feel about me? Like things like that. I feel like if you ask them, they're going to tell you like, you know exactly how I feel or I've, I've told you this before. I feel so this is mostly your person reaffirming something that they've already explained or telling you like, listen, like I got this. You just got to listen to me. You just got to trust me on this. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Next up we got, I want to be more than friends. Wow. That's very interesting. Some of you could be meeting someone at work or at school as well is what I'm feeling um, because I just see like this very like professional environment that your person is like um really focused on okay but i feel as though they're meeting you there or you guys have mutual friends um you you may you may meet them through like a mutual friend like a friend of a friend is introducing the the two of you the three of pentacles here but um your person wants to be more than friends you may not be able to you know if you're starting to date this person let's say and the two of you are not official um again you may be wondering because they're so busy with work or whatever it is um you may be like wondering like is there romance here because your cards weren't really screaming romance they were mostly like your cards were mostly giving the vibe of like we're, we're working on something we're building the foundation you know we're taking it slow but these are my intentions okay so i want to be more than friends okay and those of you who are already in a relationship especially a long-term relationship know that there is still love there there's still romance there like this person still wants you okay they still want a future with you they still want to get married or they want to stay married okay but um for those of you watching yes there is there are romantic feelings here they do want to be more than friends let's go ahead and pull another card for how your person feels about you let's see what else we got please how does this earth signs person feel about them please oh ooh. This was supposed to be for fire signs, so again, the fact that I'm saying earth sign, I think it's really establishing the fact that you're dealing with an earth sign person. I'm becoming a better person. Yeah, so again, um, fire sign, your person is very dedicated right now to either their career or something like that, but they are dedicated to growth. They're dedicated to growing with you, alongside you. I'm hearing I want to be a better husband as well, and so maybe, again, some of you are married or thinking about marriage or you're um, engaged already. They want to grow and learn, and they want to continue doing this with you, okay? We got, I regret lying to you, so... Someone was lying about their whereabouts, I think, or someone was lying about their financial situation. Um, someone may have been lying about being ready to commit. That's also something I'm picking up on. But I see you guys talking things out. And again, counseling, therapy, like there's going to be um, resources that the two of you can like, you know, take advantage of in order to work things out. At the bottom deck, we have, I'm starting to understand our connection. So fire sign, your person is experiencing revelations when it comes to why the two are, are in, are in each other's lives. Okay. Remember we did see the judgment card, um, at the bottom of the deck earlier. So this person is having, you know, uh, an emotional reaction to, why the two of you are together like does that make sense like they feel as though you two met for a reason they really are starting to understand their purpose more and more not only just in life and with their own destiny but as it pertains to you okay with the ace of cups and i feel like that's why this person feels very like connected to you emotionally and why they feel you know attached to you and things like that it's because they you've inspired them to grow so much you know what i mean like this person really um just wants to like shower you with love and um they want to give thanks they want to give back like they 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 feel your unconditional love and support for them and that's something that means so 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 much to them like i just see um I mentioned you have like emotional intimacy emotional fulfillment and um yeah like just feeling close like i don't know like i like I, it's it's just sweet okay but i regret lying to you so i don't know if this person lied or um, I'm also hearing like I regret letting you down. So I do feel so you guys could be dealing with someone who tends to be kind of hard on themselves. They may be um, reclusive when it comes to showing emotions because they don't want to burden you at all. The person you're dealing with could be like hyper independent is what I'm picking up on. Also something about them not growing up with a father figure. 
um, or having you know some some heartache surrounding a father figure that also may have affected the person that they are today whether they are a man a woman whatever like whatever it is that they identify as I feel as though there's something there about a father figure that really affected them and shaped them into the person that they are today and that also pertains to their how they feel you know as their role in a relationship, in a marriage, in a family, and also their emotional nature and how they deal with that, how they navigate that, okay? We got, I know that I crossed the line with you. So someone really does feel as though they reach a point of no return with you. They do recognize that the relationship is changing, the dynamic is changing. And um, I think that's something that they are, that's really weighing heavy on their minds right now, okay? We have, um, I don't react when people mention you. Um, I do feel as though someone could be, if you're dealing with someone from the past, like if this, if this is picking up on someone from the past for you personally watching, um, I feel as though that your person hasn't given up on you. They're still willing to make things work. Um, I don't know if the two of you are on a break right now or something like that, but you may have asked this person for space, for instance, but they're still willing to, um, uh, make things work. They still care. That's why we have the, um, what is this? The, um, uh, the seven of wands okay let me pull two more cards because i love you guys oh <laughs> i was just saying i love you guys and you got i love you unconditionally yeah someone may be loving you from afar but fire sign i just might let you know like the person you're dealing with they do have feelings for you and even if it's not um as deep as like love per se because the two of you maybe just met like last week there are deep feelings here and i think that it could grow into love it could grow into the two of you you know falling for each other but there's definitely feelings involved we will be together again yeah again if you're dealing with a past person they're still dedicated and committed um i feel as though whoever you're dealing with fire sign again they're intentional about about you about this connection and they don't want to let anything get in the way of that even if they messed up in the past they're trying to um make it right i guess um but yeah i love you unconditionally let me quickly ask your angels for any advice um i hope that you guys enjoyed again this kind of counts as like your weekly reading um so i hope that you guys like enjoyed let me know like give me some feedback leave me a comment talk to me like did this resonate because i obviously have no idea what's going on in you guys' lives but since we are a smaller group on my Patreon, I feel so we can, like, get to know each other more and I could be more involved in, like, your lives. Like, I don't know, like, let's be friends. Like, let's discuss. Let's see. Um, what do the angels have to tell the fire signs? But are you guys dealing with a water sign or, like, a uh, an earth sign? Because it's really giving, it's really giving Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer. Like, it's really giving that. But let me see. What else what do we got for the... Um, fire signs please okay what do we have sorry my nose is itchy let go of control issues healing family issues like i said someone is unlearning a lot of things and like relearning new things as as far as family dynamics i'm letting you know this right now especially when it comes to um father like anything related to a father figure okay Maybe some of you want kids, but your person doesn't or vice versa. That could be something, an element that we're also thinking about is what I'm getting. Because there's something here about a father figure. Um, someone maybe not stepping up to being a father or something like that. Okay. Let me see more though for the fire signs. What, what are their advice? I can barely talk. I think it's the coffee. What are their advice, please? Ooh. Okay. A lot of cards fell, but I'm guided not to like literally seven cards fell. Make the effort. Um, who else got this card? I just filmed a reading. Who was it for? It was for Taurus. Okay, so if you're dealing with the Taurus especially, this is for you. Okay, make the effort. Past life relationship. Oh my goodness. So that could explain why they are understanding your connection more and more. And that explains also the unconditional love. And why the two of you cannot let go of each other. And why you feel so familiar and connected to one another. But this is really speaking on the spiritual aspect of this connection. This is a past life relationship. Oh my goodness. Wow, I haven't received that card in so long. So it's really refreshing. Stay optimistic about your love life. Separation. So especially those of you who are single right now or experiencing any type of like emotional separation, emotional distance, 
um, or physical distance from your person, stay optimistic, okay? And then we got love yourself first. So make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself during this time. Make sure that you are not neglecting yourself. Still focus, you know, on doing you, your self-care routine, all that stuff. Just look after you so that you can be the best you possible. And I think that the right person is going to enter your life exactly when they need to and just know that you are loved unconditionally by everyone around you okay even the ones that did you dirty like just release them with love okay just be positive okay i hope that this was helpful i'll talk to you guys really soon please post notifications have them turned on for patreon because i don't want you guys missing out okay i'll talk to you very soon bye